people from a winning town, right? It's because What's we're a losing town. We were here when the Cavs were like making it. So I was here for the Cavs support. You were, but well, we are like, playing the Browns this weekend, so. Yeah. That's going to kind of but, put a but, damper on the town. But what's it like to come from a winning town when it's not just one team, it's, it's the whole atmosphere? It sucks. It sucks? It sucks. Why does it suck? Because it sucks. I came here hoping to be a winner, and we're losers. So you get so used to winning that the losses hurt it more? It is. It <gasps> is. So that's some advice for Cleveland and, people? Yes. Wow. I but do you, do, how do you stay humble? Do you get, do you get like a little overconfident or like do you really feel it when your town no, wins I mean, everything? you come in you I had no no idea we were gonna lose. Okay. And then we lost one game. I was like we're we're winning the night. Nope, we lost another one. So you're a little down right now. I am a little down. Because you're right so now. used to winning. I know. Wow. See now but you got the Indians thing on. Now, you're see, not as now used we to are winning. so used to losing. <laughs> everything everything more than a loss is icing on the cake. So here she is, she's upset over two losses you're waiting That's your right. whole life for something. For something. Can we, you imagine what would happen if you get as used to winning as she is? I, I could not imagine what that feels like. But could it be coming? Of course. We could have three this year. Cavs, Indians, Browns. Football's not Browns. happening, honey. Look at Football's you. not happening. Baseball, I will give you. Basketball, you've got that one. There's no freaking way. Brady's coming back okay. in town this weekend. Browns is a bit of a stretch. I get, I, I, I get that to you. But you get that but winning you feeling know. and you never know what's going to happen. You never know. 